Okay, we're going to uh, take a look at another Tony Yamamoto uh, guitar. Uh, this is a triple O, and uh, this is a, a gorgeous triple O. The uh, it's uh, Indian rosewood, some um, really good looking Indian rosewood, uh, Coco Bolo binding, uh, which really goes well with the tone of the guitar. Uh, Coco Bolo on the neck binding. Uh, as you can see, it's Coco Bolo on the headstock and a Coco Bolo overlay on the headstock uh, with a uh, ebony back on the back of the headstock uh, and then the uh, patented trademark light maple uh, secondary binding in the inside. Uh, also Coco Bolo around the uh, sound hole with the light maple uh, kind of Tony's trademark. Uh, what, what's pretty unique about this guitar is uh, the way Tony did the bracing on this guitar. If you look, you'll see that the, the top is bowed. Uh, and that's by intention. That's a dome. And what Tony's theory is, is he spreads out the typical X bracing, which would come through here somewhere, and he fans that out farther and then he builds a dome into it. The cross bracing that would normally be here and here is removed. Uh, the to, a, a lot of people will are of the opinion that when you do this dome bracing to the, uh, to the top of a guitar that it will stiffen it up uh, quite a bit. Uh, Tony's counteracted that by actually opening up this area of the soundboard uh, for a lot more movement. And so the balance of the two gives you the advantage of the, the bridge, which has a lot of tension from the strings, uh, is, not, is, is not going to want to rock forward because it's already put on kind of a, a rearward attitude. Uh, so the top usually doesn't flex. In the future, you'll see that you'll keep a much, uh, even though you have a lot of tension, you can have a lighter bracing on the soundboard, which will make it move better. Uh, and uh, the advantage of not having it rise. The, uh, the Adirondack, Adirondack on this guitar makes it exceptionally hard driving guitar. Uh, I mean, it's really good for stuff that drives pretty hard. One good thing about uh, every triple, triple O in the world is they're really exceptional for blues. So, another uh, beautiful Tony Yamamoto.com, I mean Tony Yamamoto guitar, excuse me. Uh, and if you want to find out more about these wonderful guitars, just go to YamamotoGuitar.com. Triple O.